Hey guys, so today is um, 21st January and we're still waiting for this baby to make his entrance into the world. I'm waiting not so patiently because at this point I am very very tired. I don't know if you guys can see the bomb. Oh, clearly you can see it. Anyways, I'm very tired. My wrist is killing me as I'm taking this walk. Everything is just a lot more stressful than normal. So yeah, at this point, I'm very ready for the baby to come. Me, my mom and Kobe were just out here taking a walk, trying to induce labor. You know, anything to make this baby come out. Today, the weather is so beautiful. The sun is out, the weather is not cold. It's just the perfect amount of chill, you know. So we're taking a walk today. Hopefully, after walking today, something happens, we hope. But till then, we'll see how it goes. The annoying thing is that each time I'm taking a walk, I think I'm going to feel this baby's head push down like the baby's ready to come out like right now. But then, it stops. No contractions, nothing. And at this point, I'm like, can you just come? Like, I'm, I'm so ready for this child, guys. I am, my last appointment, which was two days ago, I was measuring 3 cm. And if you know what Mokus plug is, well, I lost mine as well yesterday. So, right now, I'm just ready. And things are happening like the labor is around the corner. But at the same time, nothing is happening. Hey guys, so I can't really scream, but I am. I let me just start by apologizing because yesterday was such a crazy day for me, so I couldn't exactly vlog yesterday. But yesterday was the 22nd of January, which was a Monday, and I had my baby yesterday. He's sleeping inside there right now, and yeah, it's just such a crazy story. I'm going to have to make a separate video and just tell you guys the whole birth story but it was so crazy it happened so quick and just things didn't happen as i expected so i really didn't have time to process a lot of things that were happening and i didn't have time to like bring out my camera and vlog and i was alone and it was just not a mess but close anyways today is the next day is the 23rd we're both doing well baby is fine i'm fine and um, i just fed him and put him to sleep right now and i'm going to try and get some sleep as well i just wanted to come up here and just tell you guys that yay baby's here finally let me go ahead and show you baby and i'll just keep vlogging throughout the rest of my stay in the hospital and just tell you guys what happens as it goes but again i'm just going to have a full bed story video and just break it down for you guys because it's a whole lot anyways let me stop talking too much and show you guys baby there he is hey Hey baby. <laughs> Anyways, there he is guys. Um yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. He's so tiny. Yeah. Everything fine? It's been very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey boo. knocked out the food he ate just knocked him out and did he have a wet or dirty diaper yeah i changed him before i fed him Poor Pete, both both, oh, both. Okay. he has still done the dark the dark yeah. green still okay. that was a third time okay yeah he did around 10 again around three in the morning oh okay and then that's good he's going well again. yeah you guys see what I have to eat like I don't even know what this is the smell is even making me want to throw up and then if I throw up 
that means that if I throw up that means that um, they will assume something is wrong and keep me here longer so I, I can't exactly afford throwing up when I drink this and the, I just don't like the smell I'm not an experimenter when it comes to food I just like my local Nigerian meals if you know what I mean and if you're wondering I'm only allowed to take liquid today because I had my baby via cesarean section so yeah um, I can't take solid food I'm stuck to taking this and I have to drink a lot of water today they gave me this I have to drink a lot of water because I've not peed yet since I had the baby obviously I had the what's it called something whatever in so it was draining my pee but it just removed it and i have five or six hours to pee if i don't pee in five or six hours it's going back in and then again they'll assume something is wrong so that is my situation right now according to them the way they do the cs is very close to the bladder so they want to make sure that the bladder is still intact which is understandable i guess but cs is not a joke now i respect all those people that do cs and you know they are up and running because the pain is real like it is real the fact that i had to sit on a bed for 24 hours it was a horrible experience i couldn't move like i literally could not move myself plus i wasn't even allowed to stand up but looking at this cute baby's face makes it all worth it just look at his face just look at his face oh it makes it all worth it so yeah i try to remember him when i remember everything that i went through yesterday and everything i was still going through i just Look at his adorable face. Ha. You had a C-section or vag delivery, mom? C-section. C-section, okay. I was born yesterday, so. Mm -hmm. And circumcision, yes, no? Um, they're going to do it today, I think. Oh, yeah. okay. Hmm. Oh. Okay, sorry, buddy. Sorry, 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 sorry. He hasn't cried since he was born. He didn't pee yet? What no, is that? He pees all the time. He hasn't cried since he was born. Oh. Don't be so happy with that, okay? Mm. When you'll then you'll call me. He's not stopped crying. He's crying, mm -hmm. crying, crying. So mm. just think that you're so lucky it's with him. Okay. Hello from us again. Baby is sleeping. But I'm about to try and feed him now. We just went for a walk because yeah i had to go for a walk and i just peed yay it's so funny like when you give breath we see as the little things are actually like such big deals like this pain if you don't pee then that means there's a problem somewhere so i finally peed that was fine um i've eaten i didn't feel nauseous so ticked and yeah i'm able to walk around even though like i'm in a lot of pain but it's manageable i guess i'm waiting for them to order me more pain relievers but in the meantime we're both doing well that is he. I'm about to feed him now, so I'll catch up with you guys later. So guys, um, I just had my bath. You guys don't even want to know how good that feels. I've not been able to stand up from this bed since yesterday. Well, I stood up sometime today, but for 24 hours straight, I was stuck here. I was just feeling dirty and just not good. So I finally just had my bath because um, I just got the all clear to have my bath this evening and I'm trying to just get some rest while the little one is asleep. Here he is. So as he sleeps I'm trying to get some rest as well. Um, yeah today is pretty much over for us. It's past four right now but from now on it's going to be sleep and eat and sleep and eat for him and probably not get enough sleep for me but that's fine. We'll go home tomorrow which i'm so excited about like i can't just wait to be home and just where my mom is and just get help from people around and i can't wait to be able to eat i'm so freaking hungry i'm even going to call them right now like apparently if you don't pass gas after cs you cannot eat i do not understand like i don't even know the relationship between passing gas and eating anyways um yeah that's just our updates we're fine i'm bored but aside from that every other thing is normal guys when i ordered grilled chicken i was expecting to see better chicken i see the rubbish that they added to the food at least people anyways i'm about to enjoy my meal now finally something is entering my stomach 
I'm so happy right now. Good morning, guys. Um, so today is the 24th, and hopefully I get discharged today. I am so excited and so happy to go home. Look at this little one right here. I don't know if you guys can see him, but like yesterday, night wasn't actually so bad. Like there's this thing that happens to me after I give birth. Like when I had my son, it happened. Like I would just start shivering, even though the room is very warm. Like yesterday, the room was very warm, but I was like legit cold. I was shivering, and then when I cover myself, my bed soaks up with heat, even though I'm still shivering. Like. I don't know if it happened to you guys but it's such a horrible feeling and it was happening to me yesterday and I was alone and I still had to take care of this little one but God willing you know we survived and we're here this morning and you know it has stopped I know to come back again this night because it could be happened to me for like four days but in the meantime I'm fine hopefully I'll be at home this night so my mom will be with baby while I sleep and get all the rest I've not gotten this past two days but yeah he's here He's fine. We are both fine. Oh, good job, baby. He just bopped because we just finished feeding. Um, yeah, I'm about to order breakfast and let them know so that they can come circumcise him. And then we'll get ready to be discharged by God's grace. Good morning. Good morning, baby. How are you? Good morning. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Mom is about to eat breakfast. Um have some scrambled egg, bacon, toast, fruits, yogurt, and all that good stuff. So even though I just ate, but this is my two days after baby belly. <laughs> It looks literally like I'm still six months pregnant. Just look at. But yeah, we'll see what it will look like in a week. I remember with Kobe, when I was two days post, it was way bigger than this actually. Like it was almost like I was still nine months pregnant. With this one, it's a little bit less, just a little bit. But we'll see. Baby has been circumcised. I just brought him back. I've been discharged. I'm just dressing up, getting ready to go. I'm going to call my mom very soon. I feel so sorry for him. He has been sleeping since they brought him back. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm just trying to pack our things, getting ready to go here. Ouch. Finally, finally we get to go. I kind of overstretched myself there for a minute, but yes. I can't wait for Kobe to meet baby. He's coming with my mom and he's going to get to meet uh, Kaito for the first time. And I'm excited to see his reaction. I mean, I'm sure he's not going to react. He's two and he doesn't really even understand the fact that this baby is his brother. But I just would want to see. I just can't wait to see how he will react, basically. I'll show you guys. Hey, Kobe! <laughs> That's baby brother Kobe. Hey, you share your mommy with him now, not only you again, okay? You share mommy with him, okay? Okay, Kobe. No. So guys, um, I just got discharged, yay! I've signed all the discharge papers, my family is here, we're about to start going back home, I am so excited, I just can't wait to breathe the air at home and just leave this hospital. <sighs> Anyways, I'll catch up with you guys later, let's start heading home. 